You're listening to Exopolitics Today with Dr. Michael Sala, your source for the uncensored truth regarding the human, extraterrestrial, global, and political agenda. Click the like button and subscribe to this channel. And now, here's Dr. Michael Sala. 1910, Albert Einstein and the German theoretical physicist Arnold Sommerfeld first proposed a time travel device called a tachyonic anti-telephone that could telegraph signals into the past using faster than light particles called tachyons. Five years later, Albert Einstein published his general theory of relativity, which showed gravity was a property of space-time. His discovery meant if a way could be found to manipulate gravitational fields, time could be slowed down, sped up, or even reversed. In 1919, Maria Orsic, a highly talented psychic, received communications from human-looking extraterrestrials from the Aldebaran star system with instructions for building a space-time device which could be used for interstellar travel. This flying saucer used high-voltage electrostatics and torsion fields to manipulate gravitational fields thereby moving the craft and its crew backward and forward in time. Orsic received financial backing to build the first space-time flying saucer prototypes from powerful figures within prominent German secret societies in the Weimar Republic throughout the 1920s. The resulting Vril flying saucers were to be used by civilians for peaceful scientific purposes. When Adolf Hitler and the Nazis came to power in 1933, he immediately started the process of classifying Orsic and the Vril Society's space-time research as an urgent national security matter and brought it under the control of Heinrich Himmler's Nazi SS. The Nazis planned to weaponize space-time research to achieve world domination and were helped by an aggressive group of extraterrestrials called Draco Reptilians, who initiated contact with the Nazis and soon after reached agreements with Hitler. The Dracos, along with another off-world organization from the Orion constellation, planned to use the Nazis as a proxy for achieving galactic domination. To this end, the Draco gave the Nazis one of their abandoned underground facilities in Antarctica, which the Nazis expanded to develop fleets of anti-gravity spacecraft that could travel through space-time. The German secret space program emerged, ultimately run by German secret societies with the Nazis providing personnel and infrastructure. If left unchallenged, their dark fleet would have led to the Earth becoming the epicenter of a galactic tyranny emerging 350 years in the future. Thus began a temporal war involving the Germans with their Draco and Orion partners pitted against an alliance of freedom-loving extraterrestrial organizations, including the Ashtar Command, the Andromeda Council, the Galactic Federation of Worlds, and select Earth organizations such as the U.S. Navy. Both sides use their assets, exotic technologies, and temporal agents to either bring about or end a future one-world government that would be secretly dominated by the Antarctic Germans under secret society oversight and their alien allies, aka the Dark Alliance. In 1943, the U.S. Navy was helped by Albert Einstein in experiments using high-voltage electrostatics and torsion fields. The Philadelphia experiment was the first U.S. effort to manipulate space-time and was a dismal failure. It would be decades before the U.S. was ready to resume time travel experiments. Former Nazi scientists who entered the U.S. under Operation Paperclip secretly worked with their Antarctic German partners to prevent sabotage and delay breakthroughs in time travel and secret space program technologies for the U.S. Navy and its international allies. In 1954, the Bilderberg Group was created. 
it would become the chief instrument for the Dark Alliance to achieve its agenda by long-term planning and manipulation of human institutions through time travel and other exotic technologies. In the late 1950s, Father Pellegrino Annetti developed a time machine called the Chronovisor. He used it to view historical events such as the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and future timelines of interest to the Vatican. A top secret Jesuit led organization within the Vatican began to use the Chronovisor for intelligence gathering operations. In the mid 1960s, Father Onetti's time machine was handed off by the Vatican to the Central Intelligence Agency, which planned to use it as the ultimate intelligence gathering tool. The CIA and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency Forerunner created Project Pegasus, in which young children were used for time travel experiments beginning in 1967. A popular television show called Time Tunnel, which aired for one season from 1966 to 1967, was used as a cover to hide the truth in plain sight. The Montauk Project ran from 1971 to 1984 and involved time travel experiments with up to 300,000 children. German paperclip scientists were heavily involved in time travel experiments at Montauk, which ended catastrophically. Why does this actual history of time travel experiments matter today? Over the last decade, the Dark Alliance has suffered significant losses due to intervention by positive extraterrestrial organizations and has been forced to leave our solar system. Yet their human minions continue to possess powerful time travel and other exotic technologies which they have been using to maintain their dwindling power over the Earth's population. The Bilderberg Group continues its efforts to bring about a one-world superstate and uses its significant global assets, time surveillance and temporal agents to prevent the rest of humanity from awakening to the truth. A military intelligence group that worked at the highest level of the Trump administration also used time travel technology to outmaneuver the deep state. Both sides continue to possess similar sophisticated technologies for planning their future actions, the ultimate result of which is still unfolding. Through influential billionaires such as George Soros and Bill Gates, the Deep State has been using time surveillance technologies to plan a strategy to effectively subvert democratic institutions in the US, European Union and other major nations. Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum is a key part of the Deep State's last desperate actions in the temporal war to bring about a centralized one world government and to bring back their former Draco and Orion overlords. Transhumanism is another key part of the temporal war where the deep state hopes to bioengineer humanity 2.0 through manipulated health crises and solutions using a problem reaction solution model. Meanwhile, off-world members of the Dark Alliance are plotting to return to Earth to assist their former minions. A false flag alien invasion may be used to bring about the Deep State's final act to maintain power and to bring back their alien allies. Meanwhile, an Earth Alliance working with positive extraterrestrial organizations have been patiently playing their own cards to bring the temporal war to an end and usher in a Star Trek future for humanity.